Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and this channel is all about beauty, fashion, and life, particularly for the woman over 40, but if you're under 40, there's always gems in my videos that maybe you can take advantage of as well. Recently on my channel, I started a series entitled Wardrobe Essentials. Video number one was all about earrings, the type of earrings that every woman should have in her wardrobe now. This is all my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt. This video part two is all about belts and the impact that they can make on your wardrobe or on your style from day to day or when you're going out, what have you. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Let's get started. Before we get started, sometimes after the video or in my comment section, you'll ask me what I'm wearing, what I have on. So let me go ahead and start this video with that. Uh, the makeup I'm wearing is from the Tobago Coco Edition eyeshadow palette. The lip I'm wearing is the Fussy Lip Balm by Fenty Beauty. This dress is from Zara. I purchased it a couple of years ago. It was probably not available anymore, for sure it's not. These earrings are from Lili Sadohi. I purchased these on sale a couple of years ago as well, but I'll look and see if I can find them. If so, I'll include them in the description page. This ring is from Mango, bought this last year, but I think it may be still available. If so, I will leave a link to it in the description page. Now, let's get started. So before I show you the belts, I just wanna have a discussion about belts and what they can do for you and your style and your wardrobe. Belts are one of the most underrated and underused accessory in a wardrobe. They can add dimension, color, texture, and pattern to your look and to your outfit. They can be worn outside of a coat, on top of a cardigan, not just in your jeans. For instance, if you have on a monochromatic look and you just want to add a little oomph to your look now, not to say that a monochromatic look is not amazing, but if you just want to add some texture or some color to it, you can do that with a belt. If you just want to add some texture to it, but keep the long lean look, you can add a belt of the same color or within the same color family and it'll still keep that long, one long cohesive look. If you want to add texture to an outfit, but maybe not change the color of your outfit, like if you have on all black, you can wear a perhaps like a snake skin belt, or if you have on silk, you can add that leather. It adds an additional dimension to your outfit without breaking up the color. If you want to add some patterns, say if you have on a long pinstripe dress or maybe a pinstripe soup, soup. <laughs> How's that taste? Oh, no, pinstripe soup, I don't even know. Well, if you have on a pinstripe suit and you wanna add a little pattern to your suit, you could perhaps get like a checkered belt um, to add to that and that'll add dimension, interest, and add look fun, just, just up that look totally from just putting that just one accessory on. Belts have the ability to flatter all shapes and sizes. They are perfect for everybody. I don't care if you have a athletic frame, straight frame, kind of like I do, I, ha I really don't have that. I just barely have a hip. But when I put on a belt, it just brings the attention, the eye goes straight to the waist. It gives the illusion, <laughs> the illusion of a curve from my hip. So um, you can do that with different shapes and different sizes, and I'll talk about what's best for each shape later. Even if you have a, like a very curvy figure, it looks amazing with a wide belt especially if they're tall. Um, it has the ability to cinch your waist. If you're kind of square like I am and you put the belt on, it just makes you just make sure waist just cinch in. You can have a thin belt. Thin belts are very elegant, feminine, and classy. A wide belt, however, is very bold. It's creative and looks very, very stylish. So there are some rules with wearing belts. If you're very tall and you just kind of want to break up your outfit, then you can add a waist belt. I love wearing belts around my waist and not necessarily my natural hip. Of course, I wear belts on my natural hip with my jeans, but you can kind of play with belts to break up the uh, dimension. So if you're, you can be tall with a short torso. You have to be very careful. If you're tall with a short torso, you want your belt to be a little thinner. If you're tall with a long torso, now you can play around with the width of your belt. You have the ability to wear a wider belt and still make it look proportionate. If you're short 
or if you have a short torso, you want your belt to be a little bit thinner. I purchased a very wide belt a few years ago because I love the belt, uh, but yeah, she is just not for me. I am petite and it just took up too much real estate on my waist. I love the belt. Probably would send it to my daughter because uh, she's very curvy and it's gonna look excellent on her. She has hips. I don't know where she got them from. She didn't get them from me. Oh yeah, I know where she got them from. She got them from my daddy then. Lucky her, but anyway. Um, but if you're very petite and you have a shorter torso, if you wear a very wide belt, um, it's gonna make you look more stumpy, even if you're very curvy. So just make sure your belt is proportionate with your torso and your height. Also, if you're very tall or if you're very curvy, a very, very thin belt is just gonna completely disappear on your frame. You know, that thin belt, if you're very tall, it's just it's gonna be hard to see. And if you're very curvy, it's just kinda, it's just gonna, it's just gonna get inside that roll right there and even if you have on Spanx or what have you, it's just not gonna give the impact that you're probably wanting to present to the world. So make sure the belt and the width of the belt is proportionate to your frame and your height and the length and width of your torso. So now I'm gonna show you my belts and the type of belts that I feel like everyone should have in their wardrobe. So we're gonna start off with a black on black. I love a black on black, especially if it's a matte black on black because it's the most versatile. Most of us have black in our wardrobe. We have black shoes, we have black purses, we have black outfits. And this is gonna be the most versatile because it doesn't have metal hardware. So you don't have to worry about if I have on gold earrings or if I have on silver earrings or what have you. This is just gonna accentuate your outfit without adding any extra bling, but just uh, give an extra layer of style. So here's my black on black. And I love this belt. This is, this is by Valentino, but you don't have to go out and splurge and spend this much money on the black on black belt, but they're kind of difficult to find, to be honest. So this is my matte black on black belt. See, it adds interest to this dress, but it doesn't take away from the dress. It doesn't break up the line of the blackness. It just adds an extra layer, gives you an extra oomph, just a little extra style to your dress. And this is why I love a black on black. So I can wear this if I, see I have on gold hardware here. If I had on silver, it would still match. The second belt you need, in my opinion, is a black belt with silver or gold hardware. Because again, we always gonna have on, but most of us wear earrings or some sort of jewelry, and it's either gonna be silver or gold. And now they have the antique silver or gold, and it kind of mimics both. It's kind of in the middle of both. But you get you a black belt with silver hardware or a black belt with gold hardware, whichever one you wear the most. I personally wear gold the most, so that was the first one that I purchased. And I'll show you my black with gold hardware. And then it's this uh, Ferragamo belt and it's a fairly thin belt. So you'll be able to see how this changes up this dress. And I purchased this belt to wear around my hips, but I also wanted it longer enough, I mean short enough so it wear, I could wear it around my natural waist. And so this is what it looks like around my waist. See, as you can tell, you can see the black belt, but the gold hardware kind of draws your eye to the center of the dress and kind of breaks it up just a little bit because it's not all the way around the belt, but you can see it here. It just is very noticeable, but it's still cute but it does break up the black and the look of your outfit. And it matches my gold hardware on my dress. So that's why I recommend buying a black belt with gold hardware, particularly if you wear gold a lot. So again, if you wear silver much more than you wear gold, you should get a black belt with silver hardware. Let me show you mine. So this is my black belt with silver hardware and this is Hermes. Again, I can wear this in my pants, it's for my hips, but I had my lovely production assistant to cut holes so I could also wear it around my waist. So you can see how it draws the eye here. The H is silver instead of gold, and I love it because this is what I wear anytime I'm wearing silver accessories or like my new black boots that have silver taps around them. I would wear this instead of the black belt with the gold hardware. Just a reminder to make sure your belts stretch a little bit further. When you wear a medium or small width belt like this, you can, also, you can get the belt to um, wear around your hips but you can have someone, if you have a hole puncher that's made for leather, we have a hole puncher that's made for leather. I always take my belts, or not me, production. <laughs> production puts extra holes in my belts for me so that I can wear it here on my natural waist 
and in my pant loop as well. So it serves two purposes. You know, I can wear it with a dress like this or I can wear it in my jeans or in my slacks. This is what this looks like. And this is a medium width belt. The third belt that you, <laughs> The third belt that you should purchase for your wardrobe if you're looking to purchase belts is a tan or brown belt. Some sites call it tan, some sites, <laughs> I'm getting tucked back. <laughs> some sites uh, call it tan, others call it brown, I call it camel, what have you, but here's the color I'm referring to. This color here. So this is a medium width. Again, it fits around my hips. And it has holes that it fits so it can fit around my natural waist as well. Now the hardware is an antique bronze gold so it's kind of nude for this belt so if you're going to wear anything in this shade as far as shoes or a purse this is going to go great. This would actually go with gold. It may silver a little bit but more it's more of a gold tone. Again I like gold so I just realized that most of my accessories especially my purses have gold hardware, so you'll be working on my silver hardware, but this is what this looks like on. It's still cute though. I would wear this if I had, to, oh, I do have some boots. Hold please. So see how this belt kind of mimics the color of these boots? It looks really cute. Once you have this belt, which is your basic medium size, you can also get a wider belt. Let me show you what that looks like as well. See the width of this makes more of a dramatic statement. It's more bold, it's more stylish. It just says, I'm here, here I am. Come take a look at. It's just beautiful with this dress and these boots. Yeah, I've never seen these. They were part of my Christmas gifts from my husband. <laughs> They're cute. Yes. See how this belt breaks up this dress? It's still cute though. It's still cute, still stylish. It looks really nice, it looks real put together that third piece that makes you just look like it's very intentional. So now once you've gotten your three wardrobe basic belts, your black on black, your black with silver hardware or black with gold hardware, and your tan or brown belt, then you move into your animal print belts. Always stylish, always chic, timeless. Let me show you mine. This is a leopard print, this is my favorite. Of course it has gold hardware. I just realized almost everything I have has gold hardware. Now this belt is, as you can see, much too long for me, but I really wanted it to go around my waist and I wanted to give some extra detail. I'll show you why I purchased this belt so long. This is what I wanted to be able to do with this belt. It's stylish and just really chic. Look at the animal print. This is so pretty. It adds pattern. It's the extra detail, not just in color, just the versatility of it all. I just love an animal print. And they're timeless, completely timeless. It doesn't have to be a cheetah print. It can be a zebra print or whatever prints you prefer, but or animal skin, or I'm sorry, or snake skin or what have you. But a cheetah print is very universal. You'll be able to find shoes very easily with this particular print. Now I have this belt also, or this print also in a very thin belt. So I'll show you how that looks completely different than this medium width belt. One minute. Now, see, as you can see, this is also a cheetah print belt, but look how thin it is. It looks very dainty, very demure, very cute, very classy. Just just a tiny bit of detail. You know, it looks very intentional. Once you've gotten your cheetah print or what have you or whatever print that you prefer in a small or medium size, now you can gravitate or go to a wider belt that's made just for your waist here. And these belts can be used various ways with a sweater skirt like this, with a long white button down to help cinch in that waist. You can also wear these sort of belts on coats and cardigans. They look amazing. So I recently purchased two. They were on sale, but I purchased two. Let me show you those. Here's the first one, it's a snake print. It's actually not a snake print, it's actually snake skin. I can feel it has texture on it. And this is by Veronica Beard. I just love everything about this. What I really like is it barely has any 
hardware. You can see the gold uh, buckle here, but that's the only part that's gold. So I would wear, still wear this with silver without hesitation. I love the luxe look of this. It's very premium, just beautiful, well-made. It's genuine leather. I saw this on a YouTube, oh no, I saw a YouTuber with this belt on and she had just purchased it and she said it was on sale. So I ran over to Moto Operandi and I purchased this and then I saw the other one. Hold please. This is also a Veronica Beard belt. I purchased this at the same time I purchased the regular snake skin and I really, really love this belt because it has two different colors. You can see the purple here in the front, but it has pink in the back. I think this is going to look absolutely amazing this summer when I wear it with a white long button down shirt dress or white maxi dress or even a pink or purple dress. This is gonna add texture and pattern and detail. It's just gonna look very styled. It's gonna make my look very, very intentional. So once you've got your basic belts, you can just experiment and have fun with if you see a belt that you like and it just that speak or it speaks to you or you don't know if you have anything to wear with that belt but you really really like it go ahead and get it just go ahead and get it it will look great with a white outfit or white dress and you don't have to spend a lot of money on your belts these belts that i have here are from different uh have different price points this I purchased on sale. I think this was half off and I paid I did pay $150 for it but it is genuine leather and I did get it on sale, and the other one was on sale as well. But a lot of my belts I purchased from Zara. Zara, again, has great accessories, such as belts and earrings. But yeah, I got one, two, three of those belts from Zara. Uh, several of those belts are high-end, and they were quite expensive that I did not purchase on sale. But a lot of my belts, if I go somewhere, I'm always going to the accessories department, looking at the things that are on sale, and just kind of adding bits and pieces here and there. I'm always thinking about what's in my wardrobe. So when you go out, if you're looking for different belts, once you've gotten your three basics, your black on black, your black with silver or gold hardware, and your tan or brown belt, just kind of add those bits and pieces because we all look great in a, with a cinched in waist. You can never, never, never go wrong with a waist belt like this, regardless of whether you're a teeny tiny, whether you're a tall, just make sure you don't have a very, very wide belt. So I'm five, three and a half, so I can't, my body does not support an extremely wide belt. I wish it did, but it does not, and that's okay. Everything is not for everybody, but this is about as wide as I'll get. I may go a little bit wider, but anything wider than that is gonna make me look really stumpy, especially if I have on flats. Not today I have on heels, so I look a little taller, so I can, I can wear a little much wider belt. But for the most part, I'm a petite, so I don't wear an extremely wide belt. But belts are for everyone, everyone. So go out and get your belt. If it's in your budget, if it's in your budget, you can go get your belt. Start at Zara, you start at uh, Target or Target, or what have you. Every price point, there's something out there for everyone. If you want to buy high end, you can afford high end, then go ahead and purchase your high end. If not, it's okay, you can purchase low end or you can, or you can purchase affordable belts that fit within your budget. Well, that's it, family. I really hope you enjoyed this video and my advice or in some of the belts that I showed you. And hopefully you have the basics and you can just add the additional recommendations to your wardrobe if that's something that appeals to you. If not, that's okay as well. Again, thank you so much for spending some of your valuable time with me. Now, before I go, if you hadn't hit that subscribe button, it's right there below and it's free. Won't cost you a dime. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy my content, I really, really, really would appreciate if you just come on and hit that button and join my YouTube family. And if not, then that's okay too. I just really hope you enjoyed the video. My goal is to put out great content and impact someone's life, even if it's in a minute way. With that being said, thank you so much again. Have a blessed day.